Hey, what's up, guys? One Wicked Super here. I'm doing a uh, update video for my build just to show you guys the um, progress that I've made recently. Haven't really done one of these videos in a while, but um, I got a suggestion that I should do some longer videos, some more in-depth videos of my build, and I can start doing that now because I've been putting a lot of work into this car recently, especially last weekend. Um, so without further ado, here it is. Doesn't look too different uh, from the outside. Um, aside from, I got my lower control arm out, and I actually had to cut the camber adjustment bolt right here. <clears throat> Here's the old lower control arm. So, me and my dad cut it, um, and it, it wasn't that bad. But the reason why I had to replace it is because the ball joint tore uh, when I was when I took the strut out. It's under a little bit of tension, and it kind of flung right into my ball joint and cut it. Um, cut it open, cut the boot open, so that was a pain in the ass. So I got <coughs> new OEM ball joint. And then I messed these threads up like an amateur. I was hammering it and I didn't put the bolt on before hammering it. And I messed the threads up on the uh, upper control arm. But I ended up filing it down. Let's see if I can focus on this. I ended up filing it down with a very small file and getting it to uh, spin on again. So um, that's good. So I don't have to replace that. As you guys can see, I have another control arm right there, upper control arm. So if anyone is in the market for a rear driver's side or left side, so passenger side if it's JDM, um, rear left upper control arm, good condition, hit me up. Um, yeah, and then I got my hub right here. <coughs> He's fucking hit me. Um, I got the new bearings pressed in uh, seals all that's rebuilt no more playing it so just kinda I'm waiting for my new bolt to come in my new cam bolt um, and then I can put that back together so that'll be a nice little step um, I mean that's really it as far as the exterior goes or you know actual mechanical parts but I've been doing a lot of work with the uh, interior and the first thing you might notice is that I moved the seat over to the passenger side. I'm actually buying a uh, Recaro seat for this side. Um, so there's that. So I got that's that's a passenger seat anyways. So that's why I have it over there. Um, so the driver's seat will be a Recaro uh, SR3, which is similar to the um, ones that came in the JDM Supras from the factory. So it'll have that kind of factory look. And pretty excited about that. Um, I got floor mats, real super floor mats all around. Got the rears. I just ordered from Titan Motorsport a rear seat delete kit. So that should be coming in any day now. Um, and then I also tore up the carpet and I found a bunch of random bolts that I've been collecting. They come in handy for fastening stuff. I have random bolts, screws. Um, the entire interior is pretty much held together by these little screws. I have tons of them. So I've been fastening stuff down. I got these panels fastened down. Um, got the trunk fastened down, which I'll get to in a second. But um, yeah, and then I got, so on the other side, let me go over to the other side. I got the uh, carpet retainer trim. So I got the carpet retainer trim going up here. I got the kick panels on both sides right there. I haven't put those in yet, because I got, it, it blocks the fuse box over there, so. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I have. I did a lot of work with the radio. If you guys want to know how to bypass the amp, you can go over and check my other video out. But basically, uh, essentially what I did is I traced all the wires from all the speakers back to my radio. And I unplugged the connectors, the harness that goes down a connector that goes along here to my amp, which I don't have. And I bypassed the amp. And I used the... Um, all the power ones, so my, my 12 volts and my intermittent and my um, illumination, power antenna, all that stuff, I traced those back and kind of just got those ready to be wired in. Um, and I was talking to another guy that actually wires Supras and he uh, gave me a lot of input on what's what. So I, I have my, I identify my alarm um, and glass break sensor, got my, I think this, what is this, my traction, yeah. That is my traction control box, traction control and ABS box in there. Um, cruise control, I mounted that. So, kind of just identified stuff. I wasn't sure what this is. This goes for the engine harness. I have it, I have everything labeled, um, so that's good. And 
I found a mess of wires underneath this carpet. Um, it was just audio wires, and I cut all that out. And I mean, I removed the, these panels. I cut the ABS speed sensor wires, what well, was left of them. As you guys know, I don't have ABS anymore, so there's not really any point in me keeping the wires there. Um, pretty much got all the wires out of the way for uh, my seat delete kit that I have coming in the mail. Um, I also have the other carpet retainer tree trim piece for the other side coming in the mail, along with a speaker pod, because I'm missing that. As you guys can see, I have it here. I don't have it there. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to get a Pioneer Double Din radio. And the reason why I'm kind of, a lot of you may be asking, you know, why am I focusing on the on radio when I don't even have an engine or any of that? It's because I kind of just section off the car um, into different parts, like braking system, suspension, you know, and such on. And the interior is a big section of it, and I'm really, I'm pretty close to getting it done. Um, as you guys can see, this dash panel, all I need is a radio. I have everything else. Um, it's all ready to be wired. All the wires are there. So, I mean, I put the radio in this. That's a complete piece. You know, and the same with this piece. I got the dimmer, and I got the uh, toggle switch for the mirrors. I mean, I've got the complete dash pieces there. I just ordered an odometer. Um, I'm trying to source the warning light. I mean, warning. Let's see if I can focus on this. Got your odometer here. And I'm trying to find the warning button. Not warning button. Hazard lights switch goes right there it's really hard to find because it only fits um left hand drive supers it's not that expensive but it's just really hard to find um i got sun visors put those on what else did i get go back over here oh yeah i also got um the lower panel right here i got this lower panel mounted so i got my trunk release mounted to that and my obd one connector um, and then I got my steering wheel collar gonna begin a three spoke steering wheel soon hopefully um, pretty sure I went over my last video I've got everything mounted like this is all mounted this is all wired um, as you can see I, ha I have the wires for everything I mean I've got everything's ready to be kinda plugged in um, and yeah I mean I even got the wires for my seats and yeah um, after I get my dash done, I get that all plugged together, and I still need to fasten my center console. Once I have that stuff done, I'm probably going to focus on the doors. I need armrests, um, window switches, speakers, uh, well, yeah, speaker in this side, door handle, bezel, just small stuff. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much where I'm at with this car. Uh, I'm trying to think. I did so much to it this weekend. Oh yeah, I need to show you guys my trunk. My trunk is completely done. Um, with the exception of... I need to fasten this panel a little bit better. I have one screw in it, but I need to get screws for this to kind of put that in place. But, I mean, I have the foams in here, I have the carpet, I have this dash piece, I have everything fastened here, everything's screwed in, everything's solid, fit into place nice. And the carpet kind of hangs over up there in the front, and it'll be covered by the seat delete kit. It's going to look nice. So, I mean, back here it's pretty much done. I see you get whatever goes there. I think it's something to do with target top holder or luggage cover, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> this huge box, this is an oil pan, uh, rear sump oil pan to convert the front sump oil pan for the engine I'm going to get. I decided I'm going to get an Aristo engine, probably VVTi, just convert it. Uh, I got this oil pan for super cheap. Got my wiring harness too. I got that a while ago, but I have it in here. Um, got my rear axles in there. And then in my house I have um, my transmission my rear end. So got a lot of parts waiting to go in this car. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much my update video. Uh, I've got a lot coming this way as you guys can see and make sure you uh, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notifications. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff to this car. I'm really hoping to have the interior done soon so my next video I'll probably have the interior completely done um, and that, that should be pretty soon. That should be within a couple weeks. Um, oh yeah, I also got e-brake trim piece. Um, the next thing I'm probably doing after this along with the interior is I have to rebuild my emergency brake. I don't have any of it um, and that'll probably be my next little venture is the emergency brake um, I'm not sure I may have I don't think I have a rear sway bar either 
kind of just addressing the uh, rear. Like I said, I'm kind of sectioning the car off. So I'm going to be doing the sway bar. I'm going to be doing the rear end. I'm going to get a um, two-way limited slip rear end for my uh, rear diff I already have. So that'll be going in. Like I said, I already have the axle. So going to be addressing the rear after that. Um, so, yeah, my goal is to pretty much this winter buy the engine, build it up, and then, you know, pop it in. Um, so I'm just trying to get all the other stuff done. But the cars, as you guys can see, I'm definitely making a lot of progress. And my next video, this, this should be pretty much all complete. So, yeah, make sure to subscribe. Um, got a lot of stuff coming for my uh, YouTube channel. Gonna be doing a lot more videos. I'm starting to do some tutorial videos with super stuff, like the radio video I did and the ABS video I did. Those are just videos that I would have found helpful myself, so I just figured I'd make them, you know. Um, so yeah, make sure you subscribe and comment with any questions or suggestions, and definitely like my videos. And yeah, thanks for watching.